everybody. Nick Alt, the Ozark Angler here, and I know I haven't posted very much in the past couple months, and that's because I've been trying, trying my best to just completely save every penny I can, and that means to avoid getting on the water and spending extra fuel for the boat and oil and all that, because I've been trying to pay off some other debts just so I can do something I've wanted to do for a long time. And as you can see, I'm in a vehicle and I'm outside of Columbus, Alabama right now, and you might be asking, why am I in Alabama? Well, I'm sure some of you have guessed it. That's right, I'm down here to pick up a new boat from Ashley RV and Boat Sales. Um, I can't say I can be any happier as far as fishing goes because for a long time I've been dealing with my boat and I'm down here now to pick up a boat this morning and it's a beautiful, beautiful aluminum express boat. Yes, 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 I know, I said a metal boat. Well, I've been in a couple express boats and they ride fantastic, but the most important thing is this one has a four-stroke Yamaha on the back of it, a good old 250 SHO, and I cannot be more happy to finally found a boat that is worth making a drive to pick up. But a lot of you guys didn't know I was going to make a video last year. I drove all the way down to Texas I was going to buy a Phoenix, get down there, and the boat was trash. For a year-old boat, I couldn't believe that the way he advertised it to me I drove all the way down there I've never really wanted to throat punch somebody before that guy was about to be the first one um, but yeah it was trash it looked like it fell off the trailer burn marks on the car it, it was bad for a year old boat I couldn't believe it but anyways today we're picking up a brand new boat no hours on the motor boat, the boat looks fantastic trailer is brand new and Let's anyways, let's cut out the driving. Let's uh, get right to it. I'll show you the boat when we get there. So we jump cut from me being all excited, getting my boat, got the boat. Here we are, this is the very first time I'm gonna be putting in the water and firing it up. I couldn't use it yesterday. Today is Tuesday, I got home Sunday. Couldn't use it yesterday because I had to make sure the warranty and everything was set up for it. But this is gonna be the first time of me firing up my brand new 250 Yamaha show on my 21 foot express boat. Let's uh, let's try it out. Oh, that sound. <laughs> wow. You have no idea how nice it is not to hear that two stroke Mercury back there just making god awful noise got a long break in ahead of us we got two hours of break in hour at under 2,000 rpm and then we have on pad uh, and then after that we can run it at full speed no more than five minutes but for the time being we are just going to let this get worn in and you just enjoy this montage of the new boat I love the layout it is really nice I love the sea deck and it's just a sharp looking boat. I wanted white. I know a lot of people hate white boats, but for me, I'm on it all the time. I don't want a dark colored boat. I don't want something that's hot. That's just not for me, you know? So yeah, enjoy the montage. Have a pair of pliers in here? Oh, you don't? Nope. Oh, okay. I didn't get that far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first fish in the boat. <laughs> Not exactly what we're after. Well, it's, it's a good size, though. And we should be at about 40 now. Got one? This one's more like a bass. 
Mine's definitely the bass. Oh, 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 the one you had was a good one. Yeah, it'd help if I changed the hooks on this one. They were trying to break the nose. Alright guys, here we go. This is a little bit later, obviously. Different location. But doing the final break-in. I haven't really had a chance to fish, as you can see, I don't have a trolling motor on the boat right now because I'm upgrading it because that four tracks is just, on this lake you have to have something that can really get you out there offshore, and if you don't, you're just kind of wasting your time because when these fish get out on these points, it's so rough that trying to position the boat with the four tracks, it's just not easy. Did it for several years and it's just a pain in the rear, so it's just upgrade move on um, but yeah we're gonna do the final break and I got about a half hour left on uh, the two hour break in then I can actually open it up can't open it up for more than five minutes at a time which I'm not gonna be doing that I'll probably do it in spurts of a minute or two at the most just to make sure that everything gets worn in smoothly for a few hours and then after 10 hours I can do whatever I want uh, but at 20 hours I gotta do my first oil change but we're gonna take her out and see how she runs. Um, it's Monday, the lake should be calmed down. It's been really rough, it's had a lot going on. So this will be the first time I'll actually get to open it up. So let's uh, let's get at it. And here's what I really like, is just watching it just jump on pad. You know, watch. All right, so fast forward about 30 minutes. Uh, made it down to the dam. Break-in is pretty much done. But I'm going to run back towards the other way a little bit just to confirm, make sure I'm over the two hours because I'd just rather be safe than sorry. Um, I don't have a trolling motor. But I do have a rod on here and I'm going to see if I can't maybe catch a fish or two down here. And uh, Got deep diving crankbait. It's the only rod in the boat. So let's see if we can't catch a fish on it. No trolling motor. It's dead calm. So it's hot and muggy but might be able to catch one. We got a big old Jinko deep diving crankbait, and uh, let's see what can happen. Maybe we can catch a catch a fish or two. Well, that just sucks. I guess we're done fishing. Well, that just sucks, guys. Um, yeah, so I'm done. Caught one fish and broke my rod. Well, that kind of stinks. Anyways, it's time to finish the break-in. I'm gonna run all the way back down to Shawnee Bend and see what happens, and uh, then we're gonna open her up. All right, guys, so wrapping up the break-in, it runs great. It's got so much power. Um, it's a little scary to run without any weight in it. I mean, there's nothing in here but one rod, one crankbait, and me, and about half a tank of fuel. Um, no trolling motor. It is actually completely unsafe. Uh, it's just too much power for such a light boat with no weight in it. Um, and beyond that, it uh, rides amazing, though. So I can't wait to get a trolling motor on it, get my gear loaded in it fill up the fuel tank and see what happens as far as stability because without a trolling motor on all this boat wanted to do was rise i mean it just wanted to basically take off which is cool that's a lot of power it's scary as all get out but um anyways so wrapping up this video now i'm going to do a in-depth uh, fit and finish and you know go through the whole boat uh, here in a couple weeks after i've actually used it to fish a couple tournaments and get out there and actually play through it and see the things I like and don't like about it um, but that'll be a whole different video but so far man I'm absolutely ecstatic about this boat it's comfortable to stand on and fish on um, it, it 
rides very nice i mean very very nice handles the rough water really well just like any other you know good quality big boat um it definitely has some noises because it's an aluminum boat and if you hit a wave just wrong you'll get a good slap but i mean that's pretty much any boat you, on this lake so uh just learn how to drive it learn how it handles the waves and stuff like that but it definitely likes to go over the waves faster than it does going through them slow so if you see some waves coming and your cruise are along about 40 you better giddy up trim it down and hit about 50 52 and uh, it goes right over them pretty smooth so anyways guys i'm gonna wrap up that video hopefully you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time on the water Thank <laughs> you.